Hey everyone, this is Shane from developjava.com and I'm here today bringing you your third Java tutorial. In this tutorial today we're going to be talking about a couple things. Uh, the first being primitive data types. We'll be talking, I'll be showing you how to uh, add line numbers to Eclipse to make it a little easier when we go to test our programs if there's any errors it helps us out and I'll show you how to create a new project as well as we'll talk briefly about Java classes, what they are and uh, why we need them in Java. So the first thing I'm talking about here is these primitive data types. Now in Java, anytime you create a variable, you always have to tell Java what type of value you're going to store in that variable. And so there's several different data types we use to do that. Now what I'm showing you here isn't all of them. I'm showing you the basic five that we're going to use in these beginning tutorials. So the first one here is a string. What a string is, is just a, a um, it's more than one letter or symbol, like uh, exclamation point, comma, those types of things. So it can be a sentence like I have right here, hello world, um, it can be a phrase, it can be just an HW, just nonsense, it can be whatever you want as long as it's more than one letter or symbol. So that's what a string is. The next um, data type we have here is char or character. Whenever you just need one letter or one symbol, that's what you're going to use. So, and by the way, um, anytime you have a string in Java, you always want to use double quotes to uh, encase it. So that's what Java expects us to do, so that's what we're going to do. So um, back to char character here. When we just have a single character, a single um, symbol, then we're gonna, it's going to be the type, the data type char. And we're going to use single quotes to enclose those. And the next one here is int, int or integer. And that's just whole numbers. So any whole number we want to represent from negative 2 billion and something all the way up past um, positive 2 billion, um, it's going to be of type integer. So we have like 37, 5, negative 99, 10 million, 30,506 like we have here. So any number, negative or positive, from negative 2 billion to positive 2 billion is going to be type integer. Now if we need something with decimal points in it, then that's where we're going to use this one next one called double. So we have like 1.33, 4.078, negative 991.76, pretty much anything we can use with integer, but with decimal points. That's going to be a double. And the last one we're going to talk about today is Boolean. Now what Boolean is, it's kind of a decision-making um, data type. So it's anything that evaluates to true or false. Like my hair is brown could be true, 10 is greater than 20 is false. So anything that comes to a, a true or false result is going to be of type Boolean. So those are your, your five data types, primitive data types, that we're going to be talking about using in these beginning tutorials. So the next thing we'll talk about here is we'll, we'll go ahead and into Eclipse and I'll show you guys how to add those line numbers. And before we do that, let's go ahead and just start a um, start a new package or a, a new file basically in Eclipse. So you can do that, either go File and go New, or we can just do right here this little button that's quick for us, or just do Java Project, and we're going to name our plot project Test and then we can just do next, don't need to do anything on this page really, so let's just do finish. And so we've created an, a new Java project file here, and if we drill down on that, we can come to our source file right here, and in our source files, our package, under our package is our code basically. This is where, under this package area, is going to be where it's storing all of our files um, that have all of our, our Java code in it. Um, so it's important to know. So let's go ahead and open up this test.java. So what it's done here is it's went ahead and created this class file for us. That's what this test.java is, a class file. And when, in Java, everything is organized in classes. So you might have 10 different class files in a program if, if it's pretty big, and but you could only have one. But you have to have at least one. Any code written in Java always has to be inside of a class file. So when we just created our program, we told it we're going to name it test. And so what it did is it created a class file for us, for us named test. Now, important thing to note here is that when you're creating a class file, this right here, this part of your of your um, information here, part of your code, always has to be the same as whatever your file is named. So the part before the .java. So if this is dog.java, then this right here would say dog. If it's tom.java, this right here would be tom. So you have to name it the same. Um, and then don't worry about this public thing here. We'll talk about that in later areas. Just know that this is how you create a class. This piece of code is public class, and then whatever the name of your file is, is how you create a class in Java. Now, as you can see here, I've already added the line numbers, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that, because default um, Eclipse comes with these turned off. So to do that, you're just going to go up to Window. We'll go down to Preferences. And in this area here, you go to General 
and then editors and text editors and the fourth checkbox down here is show line numbers just make sure you check that hit OK and then you should have these line numbers here now what these are going to do for us whenever we go to save our our, our um, program anytime we save our program it always goes through and it's going to check for errors that it finds and if it finds an error down this area down here it's going to tell us what that error is and it's going to tell us what line number it found it on so now that we have these enabled if it says you know error on line number 10 we can go back to line number 10, see what's on that line, and say, okay, here's the problem right here. So it just looks a little easier for us to test or what's called debug our program. All right, so that's pretty much all we're going to do in this tutorial today. Um, we did talk about these primitive data types. We'll go over those again real quick. Remember, string is like a phrase or a word or a sentence, and it's always um, encased in the double quotes. And char or character is always a single letter or single punctuation point things like that and it's always in the single quotes int or integer is always a whole number double is always a decimal number and boolean is always true or false um, after, besides that we talked about we showed you guys how to uh, create a project in Java as well as a class we talked about classes a little bit and so that's pretty much it so um, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel make sure to do that also as always check out my website at developjava.com and I will have your fourth tu tutorial to you as soon as possible thanks